finally, they're correct. Alright guys, check this out. This is where the college building that's going to replace mine, my college, the College of Sustainability and Technology and Aeronautics. Uh, looks like they have broken ground quite a while ago. They've got a nice hole dug there. That's our power plant over there. Yeah, that's math building. That's the science research building straight over there. So it's going to be a while, but I hear it's going to be nice when it's done. Look what I found. It's like Luke's. Oh, this is the one. Luke, this is the one we saw in Hudson with the perfect interior and the manual. That's funny. He parked next to this car. Awesome. Colorado plates up there. That is quite the distance. I don't see those very often, but anytime I've seen Colorado plates in Ohio, it has been at Kent State. Anyhow, it's 12.58. I'm about 45 minutes early getting out of here, which is nice. Um, took, took, just took an exam in the uh, astronomy class. Pretty simple. That class is the same. That's taught by the same guy who did the Seven Ideas Physics course last year. Barrick, love the guy, love the class. It's it actually makes sense, unlike so much of the stuff here. So, yeah, that's done. I'm gonna go home. I've got mowing to do. Gotta go to the bank. Yeah, it'll be productive. We'll talk to you later. Right, we got New Hampshire plates. Friggin' New Hampshire. What the hell's in New Hampshire? Uh, no, it's not Walt Whitman. Let's see, car hunting, car hunting. What do we have? That'll do. <laughs> Z8, that'll do. It's 2.08, I'm home. Uh, I'm going back to the work to do at home this week. Two more yards and then that's done. It's really nice out. It's a little cool, maybe 65, but we had the windows down for a while. So yesterday I did that side of the street Today will be this side of the street. Um, generally, those those two yards over there are a lot bigger. They both have the same kind of grass. It's it's more so crabgrass instead of this thin grit, thin blade uh, Kentucky bluegrass, I think it's called. Uh, so those are, are usually harder. They grow faster and they're bigger and there's less trees. Uh, so that's that's good. Mine's usually simple, although it is pretty high. And that one I mow higher yet, and it doesn't look bad. So. We're gonna make good progress today, get this done, then we're set up for the week. Okay, I'm halfway done now. Got mine done. It was actually pretty wet, which is weird. It rained, you know, all day Saturday, and then I mowed across the street both yards yesterday and they weren't wet at all. And I come over here a day later, no rain, bright blue sunny skies all day today, and it's wet. Whatever. So now I gotta go do over there. God, this is getting old, but I'll be down in an hour if things go well. Wish I could better film that black diffuser in like actual good daylight. Is it locked right now? I'm looking for the flashing light. If it's not locked, I'll push it back into the sun. It is not locked. All right, we're pushing it. That's as much sunlight as I'm going to get on the back of this car, and it's completely in the shadows. Yeah. Sorry. Maybe we can do a close-up. My exhaust tips are filthy right now on the inside. But uh, that's what it looks like. Well, that didn't get done without a colossal struggle. I got 75% of the way done. Dump grass, re-engage the blades. It's really hard to push the lever and to engage the blades. And I get all this white smoke and then my feet start to hurt. And I look down, there's pieces of melting rubble. Rubble. Rubber all over my feet. So something's totally screwed up with the belt. I brought it back, I took everything apart, had to lower the deck to take it apart, jack the thing up in the air, put bricks in front of the front wheels, get under there, clean the grass out so I could see the bolts that I need to put a wrench on to take the wing nuts off and take the cover off. And it turns out there's just one screwed up thing that I fixed and then went and used, and then it happened again. So it took just over two and a half hours to do what usually would take 45 minutes. So it's working at the moment. That's normal tension. I can do it easily with one hand. 
and it won't smoke and chew the belt up. And the belt's pretty much shot now after that. It's got big chunks missing out of it, so that's going to have to be replaced when the thing goes in for service. And then if there's something broken, nothing looks broken. I just, I hit something and pry something open and put the belt back where it goes and then it's fine, but it keeps coming out. So, uh, what a mess. But all four are done now and they probably won't need to be done for, I don't know, like 12 hours now. Oh, Jesus. We got this guy up here with dualies and a pipe that I can almost fist from here. Take a look at that. Name the car in the comments below. Anyhow, 12.07 a.m., hung out with Roslan for like an hour. He came over after stuff he was doing at Kent or Racquetball or something like that. Um, didn't do much, took a little drive downtown, got ourselves ice cream cone over at Mickey D's for 50 cents. That's pretty much it. Mode today, that got that taken care of. I'm pretty much on top of the YouTubes and the emails, which is good news. Um, iPhone made it into Anchorage, Alaska. It left Anchorage, Alaska, going who knows where, probably Chicago, New York, Cleveland, Detroit, Pittsburgh, Columbus, one of those, could be Columbus. Then supposedly that's still delivering tomorrow. So I look forward to that. Tomorrow's a long day, not terrible though, no exams or anything. We'll get in, have a lecture for like an hour, no big deal, take a few notes, pay attention. Then I got two hours of free time, probably hang out with uh, Rosamond, Alex, Ken, and somebody. Then I've got math, get that done. And then I've got to drive home for accounting online. It'll be the last class before an exam next week, so I'm not expecting anything too big there. It's an online class. Then i got to drive to my grandparents' house, get my iPhone 5S, get my case, set that up, activate it, and that's going to be tomorrow. So I look forward to that. I feel like there was something I was going to say. I'll be making another one of these videos, so if I remember, if I remember you'll hear tomorrow. That's going to be it for today. I'll talk to you on Wednesday. This week's going by. The two hardest days are done, which is good. Thursday, I have an exam, um, and then a regular class, so the exam will suck. But we'll get that out of the way, and then we're off to the weekend again. Today was a beautiful day, like 68 and sunny. So, All right, talk to you on Wednesday morning.